So winter time represents a special time in the vineyard. We've just come from the activity of the harvest when everyone was buzzing, lots of people, lots of bugs, lots of grapes, all kinds of things going on at the winery. And now in the winter time, everything is starting to settle down. It's very quiet, it's very peaceful. Wines are in the barrels now, finishing fermentations, starting to mellow into a couple years of aging, uh, and the vineyard is kind of the same. Down at the end of Lonely Street at Winter Wine Land, baby. So what you do is we map them out, uh, we've got GPS, and we go ahead and, and do the most tr strategic uh, uh, area we can do. One of the things that, the intrinsic things that we don't talk about too much, but we certainly all enjoy, is we get up on a February morning and we notice, boy, the vineyard's yellow today. <laughs> and um, it's our mustard that's done that for us. It is, it adds another dynamic to the vineyard year that is unique to the North Coast. It's just, you know, after a gloomy winter and everything is gray and brown and, and to see that first little tiny little leaf is a wonderful sense of promise for the vintage, for the spring, for the summer. It's, it's a thrill. So we're trying to give people an accurate snapshot reporting wines are going to be bottled within the month. mid-April right now. Uh, these vines have been uh, grown for almost a month. Uh, bud break was about mid-March. Um, right now we're out here checking for, uh, it's about getting ready to uh, be about time to do our, our shoot suckering pass, which means we'll just clean up everything that we do not want to be growing. And we really skipped spring altogether. We went straight from winter into summer. So because of that, we're a little bit concerned about you know, where we are in development. Ideally, we'd be 50% through Verasion, and the rule of thumb is, is that you're about 60 days out from Verasion is when you're going to harvest the fruit. So if we were 50% through Verasion today, we wouldn't be harvesting until the end of September, early October. This is uh, pretty much the last chance during topping that I have to make sure that they're protected in barrel before I move them into tank. Uh, for the final um, stabilization of the wine. And so I will top them. Now the top usually takes more wine than the bottom. There you go. We are all about camaraderie, fellowship, uh, family, people you love, and what food and wine does for that. And that's why we're not just about the wines, we're about the stuff that comes out of the dirt. We're eating and drinking this bounty that this earth that we're fortunate enough to have stewardship over has to offer. I guess it's Friday now. We started, it was still Thursday. <laughs> It's about 1.30 in the morning, I think, and uh, we're here picking these grapes at night with lights, and uh, our idea here is to get these grapes in as cool and fresh and crisp as possible. It's a crazy time, but like I said, it's, it's a lot of fun. This is where the wine is actually made. Every decision that you make is uh, is very important. 